For satin stitch applique, select a zigzag to the desired width and shorten the stitch length between one and zero. Now that's gonna depend on the thickness of your thread. And as you start to sew, what you wanna do is do a little testing. I'm gonna make mine a little bit wider here. That looks a little small for the, the size and proportion of the actual applique. Shorten my stitch just a little bit more. And what I'm doing is guiding so the zigzag, the jump that goes to the right is just barely passing the raw edge of the heart here. The bite is coming in, so the majority of the stitch is actually on this blue fabric as I go all the way around. Again, close that up as much as you can so it's nice and solid as it, as it goes. Take your tension down to three for an even prettier satin stitch and then just work your way around. As you stop to do pivoting, stop with your needle, usually on the outside, and then lift and do a little twist of your fabric as you start going around curves and points. So you can really get a really pretty stitch. Now since we're talking applique here, let me go ahead and I'm gonna sink my needle down on the outside. We could also use the decorative stitch of the feather stitch. Now I'm going to line up my fabric a little bit differently right down the center because the feather stitch and that's stitch number 19. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my settings all the way over to the S or stretch level and then go to stitch number 19 and then go ahead and sew. I'll show you what this is going to look like. It's going to look really pretty. It's kind of a little quicker too as you do any um, type of stitching around an applique. Have a little different look. If you're doing any pivoting, you want to pivot when the needle's in the center position on this particular stitch. It's kind of just what you get used to. And then as you turn, just do a little pivot stitch. And this should give us an idea of what this is gonna look like. Show you two different ways of applique with this particular machine. So here's what we had with the heart as we started off. I had a little bit wider or narrower zigzag, not as close together, and as I made it to the look that I wanted, this is a very secure edge because there's no raw edges showing. Then this is the, uh, the uh, feather stitch as we guided the center stem down the raw edge. So half went on the blue and then half went out here on the base fabric. Now there is a raw edge there, so that's not going to be the optimum stitch for something that's going to be used a lot, worn a lot, used by a child, washed a lot. That could kind of start to fray out down the road, where a satin stitch would be the prettiest choice. Now a little bit extra so you can see where you're going, you can check with your local Bernina's store for an open toe foot, a, a foot that you can see every bit of where you're going without that re, uh, little bar in front of the needle. That's the one that I would use, but I was just using what came with the machine. So try out some applique. I'm sure you'll have some fun with that.